2264, B1, 2, 3, and 4. On the ground to win out, you want to hit quick on break out with one man sharp and the other man bunt, and that be way for the grand coon hunt. So hunt your hunters, hunt all night till broad daylight to skin your coon in the morning. Oh, when the old hunter takes a gun in his hand, look out, your coon, your hide will get tanned. Behind the gutter and behind the bog, you'll take that stick and you give the coon a jog. So hunt your hunters, hunt all night to broad daylight and skin your coon in the morning. Oh, when the old hunter spied a coon on a hemlock high, he says, oh, coon, that you must die. He levels away with his old smooth bore and the rifle ball makes a raccoon door. So hunt your hunters, hunt all night to broad daylight and skin your coon in the morning. That's all it is. That ain't good with the damn, I didn't get the tune of it. You see, I didn't get on that tune of that goddamn. I take it a dank waiting the hands their own held a bag over the and their own caught the potatoes when they come rolling down the hill. We was uh, getting out a pile of logs one winter on around the river. And uh, we cut our logs and we banked them on the river. And in the spring, when the ice and snow went off, we started to spring drive logs. Well, we drove the old log downstream for a couple of weeks. When we come to a set of camps, it looked just like old Paul's camp. So we drove for a couple of weeks more, and we come to a set, looked just like old Paul. So we started the, the third week. And we began to think there might be something wrong. So when we, two weeks it up, we come to the set of camps again, and we went ashore. And sure enough, it was old Paul's camp. And there we'd been driving those logs right around and around, round and round, on round the river all that time. Never knowed no difference. It didn't know that that river didn't have no beginning, no end. It just rode in a circle. So we was up against it. We had to save our logs. So we hit up old Babe, big blue ox on the breaking pole, and we pulled the four over from round the river into Manistee, floated the logs down the river down the furrow into the Manistee and saved their logs. That is the winter, cold winter, uh, that, uh, that we had such a big crew. If the cooks couldn't keep the salt and pepper shakers full, they were all fagged out from running back and forth trying to keep the shakers full. And uh, you know how a lumberjack likes salt for his beans. Well, Paul and me got the idea hitting a team iron gray on the salt and pepper wagon. So I drove that team on the salt and pepper wagon up and down the table in the cook shack all the rest of that winter except Sundays. Sundays we'd have prunes for breakfast and it'd take me all day to haul the prune pits out. I guess you've got enough of it. I met this pale girl 
on the lake of Bonky Train. Good evening, my pretty fair maid. My money does me no good. If it wasn't for the alligators, I'd sleep out in the woods. You're welcome to our cottage, although our fare is plain. We never turn a stranger out on the lake of Ponce Train. I tried to paint her beauty, but it was all in vain. So handsome was this queer girl on the lake of Ponce Train. Her hair shrunk in ringlets around her shoulders fell.